Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 16th through the 22nd. We're going to get two oracle cards and reveal them at the end. Unless one happens to flip over for you now, then you'll get to see it now, but we'll see what happens. Generally, my readings are love readings, so we will see whatever comes up. I'd like you to take what resonates and just leave the rest. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Damn thing won't stand up. <clears throat> going to get one of these two Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Oh, that was close, huh? He almost got to see it. Damn things. Haha. -ha. Okay. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know for this week of April 16th in regards to love? What does Aquarius need to know? You may be dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas, secrets. Okay. Somebody may be hiding something from you. Could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or it could be you that is feeling very overly emotional. Or you're dealing with somebody who has a victim mentality. You know, these can go so many ways. I feel like you're afraid to start over, okay? You're afraid, perhaps, you know, you're being called to start fresh and to start over, but you may not feel, be feeling it. You may be feeling like, uh-uh, I don't dare. I don't dare. You know, you may be feeling like, you know, you you could be taken advantage of. Maybe somebody wants a second chance with you and you're like, huh, what's your, what's your, what's your story? Why? What, what do you got up your sleeve? Yeah, I feel like you're trying to keep things balanced. You're trying to do the right thing. You want to make sure you do the right thing. So you're trying to make the right decision. I feel like, you know, there's some decision that needs to be made that is very heavy on your mind. You may be dealing with another person who is trying to get in good with you and you don't trust them. Yeah, here you are. I feel like, you know, this is a time of inspiration. And maybe you have been, been through some sort of renewal and you've done a lot of healing from this person, whoever it is that has hurt you. And you're, you're like, I'm not sure about this. You know, you may feel like this is unrealistic. You may feel like, you know, you've left me pretty dissatisfied in the past. You know, it's really unrealistic for me to trust you at this time. I think that you guys have went through some sort of healing. You've been very successful. You're, 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 you're wide awake, okay? And I feel like you guys have shed some of the, shed some of the past and now you're feeling this completeness within yourself and all of a sudden somebody comes in and tries to shake you up. And you're like, hmm, the hell are you doing? Okay, yeah, I think you're trying to avoid a disaster. You you are. You're trying to avoid a disaster. It's like, you know what? Are you just here to make me suffer? Why? Why? What is going on here? You know, you're probably trying to protect yourself from suffering again. It's like, damn. Why are you playing this game with me? I feel like you're dealing with a person that is 
really not interested in love. They're interested in your security. They're interested in your stability. They're interested in what you have to offer them, but they're not reciprocating in love. Okay. I feel like they probably, they see your compassionate side. They see your caring, your caring nature. Okay. They think that you are such a giver and you're such a beautiful soul. And I feel like somebody could be coming in to take advantage of you. They may be trying to take advantage of you. I feel like you've been through some sort of healing process. You've done a lot of inner work. You went through a renewal rebirth and you're you're headed in the right direction you're probably looking very beautiful you're probably feeling very attractive and looking very attractive and you know you're you're probably um attracting others very easily because of your oneness with the universe it's like you guys have done a lot of inner work you've come a long way and, you know, I think that the outer world can see your beauty. That's what I see. And I feel like this person, that whoever is coming in that is playing games with you, probably sees your beauty too. And they probably see how good you're doing. So they're trying to make another appearance. And you're like, <laughs> do you think I'm going to let you come in here and take advantage of me again? What do you have up your sleeve? Now that I have done all this work on myself, you want to come in here. And make me suffer. You deserve more, Aquarius. You do. You deserve more. You may reject this offer from this person. You're dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas, and you may see right through it because you have a lot of life experience behind your back. This isn't your first rodeo. I feel like you have the knowledge. You have the strength you have the ability to take the practical approach okay I feel like you are very stable and secure and whoever it is that you're dealing with sees now or does now sees your worth they see what you're worth they see that you have the ability to take care of yourself very very well And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is very conceited and self-centered. And they're, I feel like you're dealing with this person that is coming in to shake things up. Is greedy and unreasonable and conceited. And I think that they are working out of ego. I think their ego has been hurt because you are doing so well with without them. If this is somebody from your past. Or this could be even somebody new that is trying to come into your life and the only reason they're coming in is because they see that you're beautiful and they see that you're secure and stable and they're looking for somebody to mother them because these are both mothers. So you could be either way. There's somebody here that is looking for you to take care of them. That's what I see. I don't see any love anywhere. Nowhere. There's no love here yet. Some You deserve more, okay? You deserve somebody to take care of you, Aquarius. You don't need somebody that is very pessimistic, somebody who wants you to do all the work, somebody that is lazy, somebody who isn't putting in effort. You know, you don't need somebody like that. Is it up to you to put in all the work and to pay all the bills? 
Is it really up to you? Is it up to you to do all the nurturing? Or should you be nurtured too? Because whoever you're dealing with is not giving you what you deserve. And you're being called to not be naive and let this person take advantage of you because you are so caring and compassionate and kind. And they see that. It's time for you to make a decision. Stop playing games. I'm not going to play games. I think that you are dealing with somebody who is looking for you to take care of them. Like a mother would take care of their child. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like it is time for you to make a decision and stop juggling with your mind. I think this is a week of, of making a finding your power, using your inner power to make the right decision. You need to stand up for yourself. Okay? You need to stand your ground. And don't let anybody come into your life that has hidden agendas, that is looking for you to take care of them while they don't reciprocate because there's no ace of cups, there's no two of cups, there's no ten of cups, there's no love here. Somebody's looking for a mother. That's what I see. Or a father. Or somebody to take care of them. That's what I see. <laughs> Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Is this what you want? Do you want to take care of somebody? And not get it back in return. Because it's not coming back to you. Okay? Not in this reading, it's not. Remember I said this is not your first rodeo. And this right here is being taken advantage of and being naive. Because I don't want to be alone. Don't, don't make the wrong decision just because you don't want to be alone. Somebody has hidden agendas. And I think it's somebody that you know. Self-sabotage. Look at, she's covering her eyes. She don't want to see the truth, does she? Whew. When you learn to get out of your own way, there will be no stopping you. Most of the time, it's not others who prevent you from achieving your true goals. It's that inner voice that derails those carefully woven plans. Listen to your inner voice. If this person comes back and wants another chance, your inner voice will know. Don't let your fear of growing old alone or being alone oh, make you make the wrong decision, especially if your inner voice is saying, no, I know that this didn't work out in the past. I know something is up their sleeve. I know this isn't going to work out. I know I want more. I know I've done this healing. I know that I can't do this. I know that they're lying to me. If your inner voice is saying that, do not ignore it. That's self-sabotage. And that's what I have, Aquarius. I feel like you have, there's an opportunity for somebody to want a reconciliation with you because you have what it takes to take care of them. There's no Ace of Cups. There's no Two of Cups. 
There's no Ten of Cups. There's no love. Be careful. Talk to you later.